Learning just how invested Western New Yorkers are in what's happening over in Eastern Europe right now, particularly in Poland, where millions of Ukrainian refugees have been fleeing to escape the Russian invasion. And our region has one of the world's most concentrated Polish populations outside of that country. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of people here who want to help, including Lydia Dominic. She owns Buffalo Balloon Company. She's been collecting supplies and is in Poland right now getting ready to distribute them to people in need. I talked with Lydia earlier this afternoon. Lydia, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for taking some time with us here. I, I want to ask you about the plans for later this week and what you're going to be doing. But let me just start with, you know, where you are now and what you're seeing right now. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so I'm in Gdynia, Poland. Um, it's northern Poland. We border the Baltic Sea up here. Um, and my friend Karolina lives here. So she's my contact and she's the reason that um, I felt the need to come here. I've been watching what she's doing. Um, and so she's my one friend who's here, um, and I have another set of friends who are from Rochester who are actually um, in Ukraine right now. So between the two of them, there have been so many needs that I feel like I have to help meet that um, I felt the need to come here to Gdynia. So the outpouring of support has been just incredible. Tell me about the supplies that have been collected and what you're going to be doing over the next few days. Yeah, so um, the, the need was that Polish um, drugstores are completely out of cold medication and women and children are standing in line for, for days to get the things that they need. And I thought, well, we have that here, we'll just ship it. So um, I looked into what that would take and to, to send it right to Poland. Um, and so I, I asked Buffalo, I asked my people, I said, let's send a pallet. That would be amazing. Let's send a pallet of these things that these people who are experiencing unspeakable trauma. They need this stuff. Let's do it. Um, and and every our city rallied and we, we sent 21 pallets because Buffalo doesn't know how not to give, especially when people need it. Um, so it was just a beautiful, beautiful example of um, the love that my city pours out all the time, but really when the world needed it. And I'm so proud of my city. And what's it going to be like for you over the next few days as you, you know, you have these supplies and, and getting them to exactly where they need to go? It's been really emotional. It's been really overwhelming. Um, I was able to bring bulletproof vests on the plane with me. Um, there's a Polish airline that allowed me to bring 10 bags. I was able to check 10 bags um, and we were able to, to put um, bulletproof vests in those bags. We were able to bring helmets. And uh, so I, I ended up bringing um, 25 bulletproof vests that people had donated. Um, and that is a great need here. It's a great need. Um, there are civilians here that are fighting in t-shirts. And, and, and so that was something that I wanted to be able to provide. Um, so this has all been done because of Instagram. The power of social media when it's used for good has left me in awe. And um, I went on Instagram and I, I asked for vests. I said, this is something that we need. Um, and I was able to bring it. And my friend here, Carolina, who um, has also been vocal on Instagram about the need and helping refugee families and, and just what is going on right now. Um, a, a woman reached out to her and said, my husband uh, it could come to you if you could get a vest for him because my dad and my uncle are still in Ukraine and they're still fighting and they have nothing. Um, and so he crossed the country to meet us the first night I was here. Um, we brought a suitcase, uh, he brought a suitcase and, and we packed him up and sent him on his way. But we met at the train station where um, refugees are sleeping right now, where families um, like mine or yours are sleeping. And um, that was the first night I was here. Finally, Lydia, um, quickly, what would be your, your message to Western New Yorkers watching this uh, who helped with this effort or who want to continue to, to help the people over there? Thank you. Thank you so much. My city, I'm so proud of my city. These people need so much help. We're going to the border on Wednesday um, to bring the items that were so needed that Buffalo sent. And um, today we met one of the refugee families that we brought home and it's it hits you different 
when you put a name and a face to the word refugee and you meet these people that have experienced what war is like. So to meet them um, and, and, and welcome them across the border to a safe place here in Poland will be um, an incredible experience. Um, but I wouldn't be here without the generosity of my city, without the, the kindness that our city is so good at. I'm so grateful, I'm so thankful, and I know the people of Poland and of Ukraine are thankful too. Yeah, thank you to everyone who donated to this, and Lydia, thank you for the work that you're doing. It's good to see you, my friend. Stay safe. Good to see you too, thank you.